Hello, FPC Salinas. This is Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher video, where I desire to do two things. Number one, I desire to pro provide you information. And number two, I desire to provide you some inspiration in the middle of your week. Certainly hope your week is going well. And if not, may this video serve as a source of encouragement as well as a reminder that our Lord is with us. He will not fail us. He will not let us down. I guarantee it. Let's get to the informational portion of the video. The first thing is this, is that this upcoming Saturday, October 5th, we are going to Chinatown to serve alongside the Ministry of Closer Walk. Yes, it is the first Saturday, and usually we go down on the third Saturday, but there are some other things going on this month, and so we needed to rearrange when we're going down there. And so this Saturday, we're going down there. We're going to go and serve. We're going to go have a great time and it will be fantastic. I look forward, and yes, I'm going to be joining you. I know I haven't been there the last couple couple times. I'll be there this time. I promise you that. So looking forward to it. Be here at 315. We'll carpool down there, and then we will be back here at 530. If you have any questions or if you'd like to offer some help and you'd like to know what that help could be, email Tracy at fbcsalinas.com. That would be great. All right? So that's the first announcement. Second announcement is this. On October 12th and 13th, we are having Opportunity Expo. What is Opportunity Expo? It is our opportunity, an opportunity for you to hear from two or three different mission organizations that are making a significant impact in Salinas. You may very well be thinking, well, what difference does that make? Well, one of the things that I continue to desire us to do here at FBC Salinas is get outside the walls. I think so often we think that everything we do as a church happens inside the walls, but believe it or not, most of the stuff that happens at FBC Salinas is outside the walls. Why? Because you are FBC Salinas. You are the church. We are the church. And it's my desire that we understand and better see different opportunities that are out there for us to get involved. These are two or three ministries that, that people, perhaps in our lives, would benefit from uh, us being able to say, hey, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? I want us to understand more and more how bigger God is and how great he is. October 12th, we will have opportunity to hear from some individuals of these ministries, and I promise you this, it's well worth coming because they know something about how God's doing, how God's changing lives. And so please, join us for that. I guarantee you will learn a great deal and be inspired to be the church outside the walls. Then on the 13th, we will have what we're calling a missions fair. Different organizations will be here. They'll have tables set up. You can get information from them and learn more about those ministries. And perhaps, maybe God is calling you to be involved in one of those ministries. So that's October 12th and 13th. Then October 18th and 19th, men, listen up. This is the Men's Transformation Conference that is happening in San Juan Batista. We have had the opportunity for the last number of years to go there for this men's retreat, and it is always a great time. We look forward to it. Great food, great fellowship, great singing, great teaching, great encouragement, as well as inspiration. So mark down your calendars, October 18th and 19th. We look forward to this as a group of men going up there to go come alongside other men from the area and sing our hearts out, open our hearts up to what it is that the Lord has for us and be inspired to be the men that we need to be. So that's October 18th and 19th. If you have questions about this, email us at info at fbcsalinas.com. Be more than happy to answer those questions. Then the last announcement is this. October 31st is only a few weeks away. And you know what that means? Trunk and treat. Lorraine and her wonderful crew of volunteers does a magnificent job every single year with trunk and treat. And we need candy and we need cars because we need to open up those trunks so we can put some candy in there and children will be by to, to grab candy, play games, and have a wonderful time in a safe environment celebrating, celebrating life. And so that is on October 31st. Love to have you join us for this. 
We need the barrel out in the lobby filled at least once, if not twice, with candy because that's what it's about. We're, well, it's more it's more than just candy, but it's, it's about celebrating children and celebrating uh, just that time of the year, all right? So if you have questions about this, email Lorraine at Lorraine at FBCSalinas.com. Whew, that's a lot of announcements. I hope you picked up on all of them. If not, simply hit pause, go back, you can hear them again, all right? So that would be great. For the inspirational portion of the video, I was reading the other day out of the Psalms, and, and Psalm 113 is where I was, and it's such a great psalm. Of course, all the psalms are great. The entire Bible's great. I get it. Psalm 113, verse 3 says this, From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of Yahweh is to be praised. It occurred to me that it's always, the sun's always rising somewhere, and the sun is always setting somewhere. Therefore, this means God's name is to be praised at all times. And I get it. I really do. I get it. We get caught up in all types of, of busyness in our lives. We get caught up in all types of different dramas, perhaps, in our lives. We get caught up with all types of different anxieties or perhaps even exciting things. And we forget that God's right there. We forget to praise his good name. We forget how good he is. And what the psalmist drives at here is that there is never a time, there's never a time where we can say, yeah, I don't really need to praise the Lord. No, the psalmist says his name is to be praised from the rising of the sun to its setting. And that means all the time. So I encourage you this week to take a little time and stop what you're doing and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for his goodness. Praise the Lord for his power. Praise the Lord for his authority. Praise the Lord for his mercy. Praise the Lord for his ability to know us better than we know ourselves and still love us and even like us. Praise the Lord for the beautiful creation. Praise the Lord for your family. Praise the Lord for friends. Praise the Lord that he's there with you when things are not going all that well. Praise the Lord that you have the ability to see, hear, touch, speak, engage in this world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord that he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And here's one. Praise the Lord because he is the Lord. I hope we can do that. I invite you to do that. I need to do that because I get too caught up in stuff it's far too often. But from the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of Yahweh is to be praised. So may we praise him each and every day, each and every moment, no matter what comes our way. God bless you. Have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.